Welcome to ViewGen 9. ViewGen 9 introduces several new features that will enable you to work much more efficiently with ViewGen. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will use a pre-recorded script with the sample flight application. This script contains several parameters and three transactions, login, order flight, and logout. Should you wish to share the business process with people that do not understand the script syntax, or if you would like to track the business process as part of your test report, the new version of ViewGen enables you to create a business process report for any GUI protocol. To create the report, we open the file menu from the toolbar and then select the Create Business Process Report option. In the Business Process Report dialog box that opens, we fill in the name of the author of the report, as well as any comments, and then click OK to create the report. Notice that the report includes data on the script, parameters, transactions, and script snapshots. One of the parameters in our script is for the login transaction. If we were to run this script 10 times, with each iteration using a different login name, we would need to make sure that the file contains enough parameters for all the iterations. We can ensure this by first testing the parameter file using a new feature called the File Parameter Simulator. This feature helps to avoid unexpected errors while running the load test by enabling us to simulate how parameters will be handled during the test and to determine if there are sufficient parameters available. To use the feature, we open the Parameter List window and choose a parameter from the list. Next, we select a method of parameter distribution. In this demonstration, we will choose Unique. We then click the Simulate Parameter button to open the Parameter Simulation dialog box. We enter the number of vUsers and iterations that the load test will contain. In our example, we will use five vUsers and two iterations. We click the Simulate button to begin the simulation. We see from the display that with the unique distribution method, there are not enough parameters for this number of iterations. This means that we need to go back to the parameter file to add more values and then run the simulation again. As you can see, the benefit of this feature is that it enables us to avoid any parameter-related runtime problems. Now let's compare our current script to an older version. Until now, we could only use the ViewGen comparison engine. The new feature lets us set any comparison tool for ViewGen to use. To do this, we open the Tools menu from the toolbar and select General Options. In the window that opens, we select the Environment tab, select Custom Comparison Tool, and enter the desired tool. We have chosen to compare two versions of the same script, and as we can see, by using our preferred comparison tool, we can easily view the differences between the scripts. Another usability enhancement is the ability to search for a specific string within all files of the currently open script. We open the Edit menu from the toolbar, choose the Find in Current Script Files option, and then enter the requested string. ViewGen will now search for this string in all files in the currently open script. When testing an application, we often need to test several business processes. To do this, we usually reuse the same runtime settings and parameter files.
In addition, we may want to use the same help function for each of the scripts we create. Until now, in order to do this, we would create a new script and then import and copy into it all the necessary files and settings from pre-existing scripts. With ViewGen 9, we can avoid this by using a script template. Let's see how this feature works. We need to test several business processes for the My App application. We have created a script called WebSample. This script contains one external file with help functions and one parameter file for the login transaction. In addition, we will set the think time in the runtime settings to replay think time as recorded. We will use these help functions, login parameter file, and think time settings for all business processes that are related to the My App application. To do this, we first save the new script as a template. From the file menu, we choose the user defined template option and then select Save as Template. In the Save Script as Template dialog box that opens, we give the template a name and then click Save. Notice how all pre-existing templates are marked with a different icon. In our example, we will call the new template My App. Now, if we would like to record a new script for this application, instead of opening a blank script, we can simply create one from this template. From the File menu, we choose the User Define Template option and then select Create Script from Template. The Create Script from Template dialog box opens and displays the existing templates. We choose My App and a script is created containing all the basic data as saved in the template. We can now start recording our business process. This demonstration has shown you how to use some of ViewGen's new features to create more effective vUser scripts. To learn more about these features, see the HP Virtual User Generator User's Guide.